I was watching this show on TV the other day and I got this idea for a really great veggie burger. I'm not a big fan of veggie burgers and that's because people make them, they just become so kind of mushed up and kind of homogenous and I think that what you want to be able to do is have lots of different textures and lots of different flavors bursting out of your veggie burger. All right, so here we go. What we need is, let me get my bowl and into the bowl, I've got um, some lentils. These are cooked lentils, right? Chana, all of this is cooked, right? Black beans. So here we already have three different textures going in. Then we're gonna add to that some bulgur wheat that's partially cooked, okay? Partially because I want it to absorb any extra liquid. Again, another texture. So we're going in with some bulgur wheat. I've got here some seasoning peppers, very finely diced. And I've got some scotch bonnet peppers. I'm only gonna put in a little bit of that. Here we have chili flakes, pinch of chili flakes, pinch of cumin, or jeera, ground jeera, pinch of cayenne pepper, a couple of nice big pinches of celery salt, like that regular salt, big old pinch there. Then I'm gonna add some fresh herbs. I've got some thyme and I've got some parsley. So I'm gonna go just roughly chop. With the thyme, you just wanna use the tips because you don't wanna go down into the hard kind of chewy stems, right? Okay. In goes the parsley. I've got some red onion, just a little bit of diced red onion is going in here as well. And then this is called chipotle pepper. Chipotle pepper is basically a smoked pepper in something called adobo sauce. If you go find it, that's cool, you don't need to worry about it. It's just another kind of flavor dimension. And you're just gonna put two chipotle peppers. Like that. Put that in there. And then, I've got some Kalamata olives, beautiful, delicious, flavorful olives. These have no seeds. You can use green olives if you prefer. You can use green olives with pimentos in them too. Again, I'm just gonna give them a bit of a chop. Just pop all of that in here. So lots of flavor, lots of texture. All right, some breadcrumbs to bind the burgers together, like that. And then, I'm gonna just break an egg in. Just break your eggs first into a little bowl, right? Ew, I forgot the garlic. Let me put a little garlic here. That's a clove of garlic. Right, okay, so I've got my egg. Let's give that a little beat. Into the mixture, like that. And I take off my rings, because it can get pretty Hairy in there. Right, here we go. So we're just gonna mix. And what you want to feel in your, in your hand is whether you've got enough kind of moisture and then enough kind of egg to make the whole mixture stick together. So we're gonna just basically a handful and we're gonna get it into my hands there. Kind of form it into a patty. Remember that most of your components are actually cooked, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this straight into my pan. So I've got some olive oil, a really nice hot pan, and on a sort of medium heat, pop you down, right? Into here. All right, now let's check these guys here. Let's see how we're going. Beautiful. This guy here is a little fragile. And there you go. That is looking absolutely spectacular too. Just gonna leave those to cook for a couple of minutes. Okay, what I've got here 
is I've got a little plate with some avocado. This is a mint and yogurt sauce that I've made for my burger. It's basically yogurt, mint, salt, and lime juice. Let's pop you on there. have it. Just two totally delicious, relatively inexpensive meals that you really can try for yourself.